certainly a lot of progress on the economy, and you got the stimulus package passed in the last six months. How much, though, does this Delta variant threaten some of that work? Well, we have a very solid uh, economy ongoing. Uh, the Biden boom is in flow. Uh, we are uh, getting uh, vaccinations in arms and getting checks in pockets and helping families to get to the other side of the crisis. Families and businesses has meant that we have a solid structure in place to face uh, whatever comes at us now. You know, it, it th thanks to the rescue plan, our cities, our towns, our counties are much better armed to fight back against whatever is going on in uh, in the virus and 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 getting the vaccine out there has been such a critical uh, measure in terms of standing up this economy that infrastructure is placed in place it will remain in place and in fact we're even making uh, some progress against vaccinations uh, among those who uh, who haven't yet had them so that's a good sign as well but there is this sense Jared that growth has peaked and, and you see that all over the market. The 10-year yield, for instance, has declined dramatically lately. A lot of the cyclical stocks that carried the market early in the administration have fallen 10, 20 percent from their highs. A lot of places you look, the small caps in, in correction mode. So what, what does that tell you about where growth is headed from here? Well, I think that the uh, consensus across the board is that we are looking at solidly above trend growth for uh, many quarters to come. And again, um, that wouldn't have happened without the intervention of the American Rescue Plan. Yes, there was a recovery out there somewhere, but there's no question in my mind, and that of uh, forecasters of all political stripes, that these actions, uh, particularly distributing the vaccine and getting that, that infrastructure in place, an infrastructure that didn't exist six months ago when this president took office, has been in instrumental in this boom. Now, if you look at the at the numbers, uh, the forecast for a GDP in this quarter that we recently closed out, Q2, are typically somewhere between 8 and 9%. Now, if you think GDP gro trend growth is around 2, that's 4x. And in fact, um, if you look at, uh, say, the CBO, they used to think that uh, growth was going to be 3.4% in 21. Uh, more recently, they think it's going to be north of 7%. So we feel very solid about that progress. And if you look Look at the impact on what the president cares most about, which is uh, jobs, income, wages, paychecks. There you see where the real progress is. Three million jobs uh, over uh, the five months that we've tracked the jobs report. That's a record uh, with rising wages and I think strong productivity coming at the behest of the uh, Build Back Better and the infrastructure plans. I think it's probably fair to say, Jared, that uh, the recovery would not have happened to the same extent without uh, significant support on the monetary side as well. Yes. How fearful uh, are you of, uh, of things rolling over, being choked off uh, as and when uh, the time arrives to tighten policy there? Well, we typically don't comment on monetary policy, but I think you raise an important point. I mean, here we tend to talk about fiscal policy because that's what uh, we have our fingers on, and that's where the American Rescue Plan has been so important. You know, the president told us, even when I worked for him during the campaign, he said, this is a dual crisis. It's a health crisis and an economic crisis, and they are inseparable. And by tackling the health crisis, not only did he set up the economic recovery that we've been discussing, but he put in place the infrastructure that's going to last for not just months, but years years, our cities have the weaponry that they need now, they didn't have it before, to deal with uh, what's coming at us. And so I think that's really important. In terms of uh, ongoing support from fiscal and monetary policy, uh, there's where, uh, especially, again, from the fiscal side, uh, building back better and the infrastructure plans come in. Uh, not only is this important in terms of uh, help, helping growth, but it's, it's important in terms of building the economy supply side, its productivity, its labor supply, a path into the job job market for child and elder care folks, that's, uh, that's going to help not just grow the economy in the near term, but increase its capacity over the longer term. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.